Yeah, those are two things you shouldn't play with. Do you think those are the could, opposites of what are... Do you think we could like this? <laughs> those are the opposites. Listen, have like a listen. Door. Steve's got something kind of cool that we got to check out. Right. You ready for this? Alright. You guys are not ready for this. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready for this. I don't even actually know what I'm looking at. Another box. Uh, what? It's a box of surprises. I'm so excited. Uh, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> this is going to be a good one. This is full of electric conversion parts for a pit bike. We got old pit bike over there, a little KL 125. Transmission's been dead on it for, I don't know, like a year. Toast. Yeah, second gear went out, and then it's just locked up and can't even roll it. So I talked to the guys at Electro Co. If you're not familiar with those guys, they are the guys for electric conversions. Yeah, check that out. Oh, yeah. They wanted to help, help us out. So we gotta unbox the stuff, see what it's like. Oh, yeah, what's it. the best way to fix your transmission? <laughs> Just eliminate it completely. Not have one completely at swap all. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, permanent fix here. Steve's, uh, just, oh, man. Steve's been talking about this for like months and like this is finally happening. This is mm. I don't know this realm, so I mean, this could be absolutely the evilest thing on the planet, or we just might be like, oh, this is, you can't ride this thing. <laughs> yeah, fun story. I was setting this up as a surprise, and like within an hour, I got too excited and told everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, it's a secret. And then I was like, well, what is it? It's electric stuff. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's a big old motor. Yeah, it's something like Matt and I, especially, have talked about, you know, like a Saran or something, just an electric bike in general, wanting to ride one for quite a while. Yeah, I'm. I'm still want a Serrano or a Talaria. So, uh -huh. I mean, if any of those companies are watching this for some reason, <laughs> please. <laughs> okay, I need a discount. <laughs> this thing might put them to shame. I'll get into what this is later, but holy crap! Oh, okay. We got some parts. So we got the controller. Yeah, this is a In Hills controller from Electro Co. That's a beefy old oh. unit there. Yeah, so that it's looks honestly, pretty nice. Oh Jesus! It's dense, but yeah, it's not that big. Should be easy to fit in there. So this is all oh. plug and play then? Yeah, yeah. And it's tunable, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I think it's got no different way. modes. Got, got a throttle cables. there, ready to rip. Okay, so that. Oh, there's your answer to plug and play. Okay. Nice harness. Got some grips. New grips. Maybe in a switch there, on off switch or something. Oh, my favorite, my favorite. Stickers. Yes. <laughs> Electro brat, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Rocket. How think... many tooth is this? <laughs> you got it. That's 15 tooth. Is it? Perfect. Yeah, I, I might have lost a couple bolts though. Sorry, Steve. <laughs> yeah, we can't Awful. get any more of those. All right, we're getting down to the good so stuff you now. Pull that bad boy. The orange cables are coming out, so that's how you know it gets oh, good. Oh, that's how you know. High voltage. Yeah, they packed oh, it in oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. I can't see in the box. Oh, this oh, is a man. unit. Holy, Holy crap. That's not as big as I thought. Now Shit. that is a motor. <laughs> Look oh, at that thing. That is so nice looking. Oh, it's got a gear reduction on it and stuff yeah. too. Oh, so it was, is it basically set up just put a sprocket on it and just go? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's made for these bikes. Like, I think like they sell a kit for like a YZ85 that just bolt on. This is a little bit more universal because there's just so many different brands of these things. But mm -hmm. like, it is made exactly for this. So wow. this is a, a QS138 V3 motor. Depending on what battery we end up going with it, you know, Austin and Electrical was telling me it'll make like. Well, the battery we were thinking about going with it, which is not the biggest one, will still make like 28 horsepower. No and like way. 80 <laughs> foot pounds of torque off the hit. That's not a. For reference. Is, that's scary. Yeah. For reference, a new 250R dirt bike, I think, only makes like 30 some horse and like 20 some foot pounds of torque. So that's like only three, four times the torque. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, Slightly nervous oh about riding it already. Like I don't actually have any motorcycle skills, so I'm probably gonna tag in Justin <laughs> to like really send this thing. But Poor guy, I test couple, dummy. I got a couple <laughs> hours. I'm good to go. <laughs> He'll so test it, but he's no dummy, you know. Besides the battery, like this is all it. This yeah. Is, this, this is what I was always wondering because I kept asking you for like weeks, like how do they control the throttle? And I'm like, I don't know any of these things. But that's 
Yeah, they have two different Honestly. options. They have like a thumb thing, like how scooters are set up, and then this is a full on uh, like MX twist throttle setup. So. You pass a thumb throttle setup, Steve? How dare yeah, you? That, that would be <laughs> uncontrollable, <laughs> I think. Yeah. Let's just give that a spin real quick. I, I don't know if I can even. Yeah, yeah oh, oh, spin it on the on the bench. Like I oh, want to see the whole thing. Okay, makes sense. Makes so it's like sense. Matt's demands. Oh, it looks like you got like is there drain plugs and stuff for the gear case on the other side there? Maybe for like moisture or something. I, I don't know. I imagine Maybe there's some kind of lubricant on there. Oh. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Could be. Wow, that thing is like that's way bigger than I expected it to be. It's, oh really? I thought it was gonna be huge. It's gonna be a unit. Dude, I expected way more than like, this. That's like, everything, this is right? Very there. simple. Like mm -hmm. this is it. Like yeah, toolbox, seriously, throttle, like, plug play. I There's can't, the twist throttle for inside the grips and all the rest. Like that's it. I can't yeah. believe the ESC isn't a larger piece. I, yeah, I know. Considering the amount of power this will make, like, what a nice little unit. Make it easy to fit in there. Mm -hmm. Like a wiring harness. Like, I mean, that's the benefit from just buying a kit for sure. It's just well, it should be real easy. It stinks not being able to use the bike because we use it all the time. Then unfortunately, yeah. I love the bike. Who broke, like, who broke it's that? It's fun. Did you break it? I may or may not have broken it, but uh, you know, <laughs> I don't think I broke it. It just broke while I was riding. It was it. a combined effort. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we and we've got some other very special things in the shop now to make this work. Uh -huh. But we'll we'll talk about that later. A little later. I think now we gotta disassemble the bike. Yep. And throw up a little time lapse or something. Sounds good. Okay, so we got this thing torn down. It was very easy to turn, uh, tear down. Yeah, we, we should have checked the time on that. Basically it took no time at all. Yeah, and kind of fit the motor in there just to see where things were gonna line up. And we are shocked. It's basically good to go. This rear mount just fits. It is the exact right width and like it puts it seemingly in the exact right position. So I took some measurements before we took the other one out. I took some measurements from here to here and here to here, just like so I kind of kind of get it in roughly the same spot. But like with it in this rear mount and tilted up a tiny bit, it's in the exact right spot. And it seems like it's lined up side to side perfectly. Yeah, this is, you can't get much better of a fitment than that. And again, this is more or less a universal kit. So for it to fit that well. Super awesome, yeah. I am not expecting that. I'm gonna get lucky. This is gonna be easy. Just gotta make some motor mounts to go from uh, here to here and probably tie it in on the bottom just cause it's easy and. Yeah, and we have something pretty special to do that with. Another fun shop toy that we I'm excited. are super excited to get set up and working. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I do have a question for you. Where exactly do, you, do they typically put the battery? Battery for these. Will just kind of like hang right here. Okay, so it'll be like vertical. Mm hmm All right. Yeah, and I think they got like a little angle chamfer on the one side to kind of fit this frame, if mm -hmm. I remember right. But yeah, just kind of hang down right here where the cylinder used to be. Okay, so we'll have to make brackets for that. No big deal. Yep, for sure. But man, pretty awesome. This is so simple. I can't believe it. That fit in there exactly where it needs to go. Like this, the chain is going to line straight up with the sock with the sprocket right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like that's probably by far the hardest thing is just getting the sprocket lined up and mm -hmm. it's seemingly just already done. Yeah. Okay, never mind. You're it's in. super easy actually. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at that. So then yeah, we can just 
yeah, shim rotate it up, it up and down that. wherever we need it to be. Yeah, incredible. Uh, do we want to just go ahead and look at that toy we got? To yeah, we can do that. Make some brackets? Uh -huh. Yeah, let's just look at it and then get that set up. Okay, this is the new toy we got here. Uh, and I don't even really know what I'm looking at. What am I looking at, Steve? Yeah, so this is an Art Droid CNC plasma cutting robot. You take your plasma cutter, just any one you want to put in here. You can put the cutter in here, lock it in place, and send this thing files, and it'll just cut stuff out for you. That's pretty wild. So it's just like a CNC mill, or not a mill, but a CNC cutter, mm -hmm. except like, what is it? A quarter of the price? Yeah. A tenth of the price? <laughs> yeah, for like, <laughs> If the price is down to it's reasonable to where like just a single guy working in his garage can buy one of these if he's using you know plasma cutter a lot. Mm -hmm. I think I haven't used one before, but I think you know with the fab projects we got going on here, like this is going to be game changing. Yeah, I feel like even if even if you're just using it to cut out brackets for gussets and stuff like that, just make them exactly how you want. You can knock out a ton of them in a big hurry. Like with this thing, you don't even have to use like any CAD software at all. You can literally throw a piece of paper on here with a drawing on it, a napkin if you want, and trace it out. Oh, really? And then just tell it to cut out that same pattern. I mean, I like I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to engineering and you know CAD software and all that stuff. So for someone like me being able to just trace something out like a cardboard template. Mm -hmm. And then it'll just cut it out of metal. Yeah, that's no. a really cool feature. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do an appropriate thing with this <laughs> <laughs> But I didn't think I'd be able to use it at all. So if, if that's a feature like I can do this uh -huh, Yeah, anybody can use it. You know those softwares are not hard to learn But they're always just like that extra step that people don't want to just dive into mm -hmm. It just seems like you're opening a can of worms. So that's real nice. You also don't even have to do that like you can make simple drawings on the pad here. Just, you know, you want rectangles, triangles, circles, lay them out, make them as big as you want. You can do that stuff right on here. Yeah, like let's just else. let's just talk about this table real quick. Like mm -hmm. this is really, really nice. Steve went and designed and 3D printed a mount for the controller and stuff and Yeah, I man. went overboard a little bit. I don't know what this stuff is. It was like in the shop when we got it. It's uh -huh. like pallet racking or something. So I just cut one apart and made a table out of it. It's probably a little bit extra, but you know, it'll work. I mean, it looks pro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this thing, we don't have one yet, but there's an actual like slide extension for this thing. So when you have one of those, you can like make it cut an entire four foot wide chunk of steel. So that's why a table's so big. Because really? eventually we'll have that. That's, there's so much capability there. It's unreal. This is really cool to see in the shop. Like. There's a lot of cool stuff we're gonna get out of this. Yeah, so there is a setup procedure for this, like calibration, and obviously you gotta mount it to the table. So let's just cut to that time lapse.
just like that, she's set up. I haven't seen this thing work yet. I'm dying to see it. Uh, I've done a few little test cuts. You see one right there. I've spent less than five minutes dialing this thing in and it's already cutting, you know, way better than you could ever imagine by hand. Like it's been incredible. Uh, one thing we haven't touched on yet is this thing was turning out so nice, this whole setup, like couldn't bear the thought of putting a Harbor Freight plasma cutter on. <laughs> right. <laughs> so we reached out to Everlast. They set us up with this monster. It's an 82i. I don't even remember how thick it can cut, but it was over an inch, I want to say. Wow. Basically. It seems incredibly powerful, and the little bit I've used it, it's been fantastic. This one's set up specifically for CNC, but obviously it comes with you know a regular torch head if you want it to. Now that's really cool, because yeah. it actually, the arc droid can interface with the plasma cutter, and you don't need to do any weird like trigger things or anything like that. Yeah. It's just works out of the box. No splicing wires. Yeah, very awesome setup. Super excited. I'm Jack. <laughs> I just saw this for the first time. This whole setup finally put together this morning and was around for the few little test cuts when we were just spending a couple minutes dialing in and it's so cool. So I think, you know, ultimately you're going to design some brackets for the e-bike project. We don't have mm -hmm. that done yet, but I happen to have a file sitting around that was a good little test piece that i would enjoy cutting out <laughs> so steve's got it loaded up and we're gonna give her a send here to see how it turns out all right all right this, this uh cut might become relevant in maybe like the next blog video yeah Just, this is you know, you know teaser okay. something going on so <laughs> all right get this thing turned up by the way there's going to be links for all of these things in the description so mm -hmm. if you're interested in checking these out just go ahead and click on those Doing its thing. I mean, that's already just cool to watch. We got ourselves a freaking robot, boys. We got a robot in the shop, finally. This is actually next level. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, like people don't realize what this is honestly going to bring the opportunity to do. Like anyone can plasma by hand and make something, but this thing is going to make stuff precision fit. Like this is going to be next level stuff. It'll be so much more pro and so much quicker. You gotta make a little bracket, you trace it out by hand, you cut it crappily, spend forever making it look halfway decent, or just make it much better and way less time. So. Yeah, what I always end up doing is measuring once, cutting once, and then grinding for about 100 hours. Forever. That's, for <laughs> that's how I do things. Yep. So this is gonna be way simpler. You ready? Oh yeah. Yeah. There'll be a few sparks on startup. So, uh... Oh my god. Oh, that's not bad at all. That's wicked. So good. Why is that so satisfying the last time? It can barely cut anything. It's so good. Cutting a straight line with a plasma cutter was like a fantasy before. It's difficult. Yeah. yeah. Even with guys, it can be difficult. Yeah, it straight up looks like it's water jetting it out. Almost. It's wild out there. We're all going to be partially blind after this because we're just staring at it. <laughs> I can't look away though. I can't tell what this is yet. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Maybe I can. Oh my god. That's wild. This is so cool. You know? Oh, hey, Mike. I couldn't take it anymore. I had to put something on. I'm just looking through the screen. Just a nice little gift for one of our friends. Oh man. This oh. is a real test here. Oh, this is a real test. Can you get it now? <laughs> oh yeah. I am I'm well prepared for what's coming. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I haven't adjusted the cut width or anything like that at all. 
So I'm pretty happy that he's been able to cut out the words, honestly. Yeah, yeah that's great. Those are small. This has a lot of really tight features on it. Look at how fast that goes. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you way over there, you son of a gun. So this is a file that we had from a previous race trophy, right? And it was much bigger, so we scaled it down. So that's why some of the letters got a little too tight and uh -huh. maybe aren't going to come out, you know, quite like the drawing because we scaled it down and didn't pay any attention to that. But right. That's okay. We're achieving the goal here for sure. And this is. I mean, dude, that's tough. That's tough. I think we're close. Is that it? Is that that might be it. I think we're done. I think we're done. Yeah, it's all down. Wowzer. That's sick. Straight up sick. This okay. is like the longest shot ever. <laughs> I know. Sorry, but I feel like I set you oh, up. Oh, no. For that matter. Get a little magnet. A little bit more complex of a... There's probably oh, a couple this of slag awesome. spots. It might have stuck down, Doug. Yeah. yeah. I'll have to pop her off. Yes. Oh, yeah. look at that, that boys. That is awesome. <laughs> I mean, yeah, obviously we didn't, okay, we didn't tune this file for plasma cutting. And like I say, it was shrunk down. So, you know, we could have picked different start points to eliminate those little spots and we could have rescaled this. So it was a little easier to uh, cut out. Yeah, but. so it's like, it's super easy to actually have it start inside a hole and go out. Mm -hmm. uh, I just didn't do it because I <laughs> a little bit rushed to get in this end, but I mean, for a first real yeah. test cut. Yeah, for that's something that's not. So what was that file originally designed for? What kind of machine? Uh, I think that was actually water jet yeah. originally. Yeah. And it was, you know, at least twice yeah. as large. Yeah. This is scaled down at least half. And a much thinner material it was used on before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it was like, a, I don't think I, you guys realize how much joy I find from that right now. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's all just try and cut this out by hand now and see if we can <laughs> match it. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. Yeah, a little bit more time once we dial in the little nuances. Like, uh, just great tool. Hey, Joey. What's the word? Can you come here for just a second? Oh no. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> I feel Wait. like you never really got a proper welcome. You know, oh great! Here in general. And oh, is this the the with, Mike Reed Award? Yeah. With this, no way! I'm the new winner of the Mike Reed Award. <laughs> with this, with this impending, you know, little I don't know battle we've got, we made you a nice, nice trophy here. Considering um, you know your machine's not actually ready to I'm go. I'm gonna, yet. I'm gonna hold on to this for a solid week, and then I'm gonna pass it along to its <laughs> new owner. So, thank you, appreciate. You guys that a lot. can, you guys can. Back I told up these guys. I said days. it's funny. We have this bad. You know, mamma jam of a car we keep hearing about has been sitting for six months not doing anything, so. All right. He no, I like wrong. it. He's going to get clipped so hard. I can't <laughs> wait to blast this all over the place. <laughs> Joey's going to spend the next week putting on every social media platform he can think of. Yep. Uh, heck yeah. Well, I can't believe you're in this video. Yeah, me neither, but I guess it makes sense now, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was wow. going to just give it to Mike. I figured, like, the dude takes so much heat. For sure. Already, you know. I feel like okay. Joey Pass can sum it off it. for a week, and then we'll let him earn the award. You know, <laughs> I tried. we shouldn't <laughs> just give it to him. I like the. You know, I'm not idea. a big fan of handouts. <laughs> you, you know, we'll let him earn it. So. <laughs> I really like the X3, but I was trying to see if you put your head with like your little hairdo and then still put slowest unit on oh, it and just hand it to you. Wow, how that's personal. That, your, your little hairdo. How would, that, how would that work when you win it? That it wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> no, we're giving that to you today. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have it for about a week and then it's going to be yours. Oh. Uh, well, right. hey, Arctroid, great machine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, the Arctroid is, turns out it's pretty dang awesome. Yeah, yeah, you, you can do a ton of useful stuff with it instead of just trolling your friends, too. <laughs> yeah, look how nice that is compared to this stuff we used to do all just... Oh, yeah, that is a good example. Like, yeah, like Obviously, you can all... lay a piece of steel down and do a cut line, a straight line, but I mean, that that's is... That's all by hand. That yeah. was by hand trying the hardest I could possibly uh -huh. try to get that result. Yeah. Like, 
this uh, this arc droid takes a tool that a lot of people might have and multiplies its usefulness many times over. Mm -hmm. Like honestly, the the value there, like they're cost effective. I would absolutely say it's worth buying just yeah. to troll your friends. Mm -hmm. The fact that you can actually do useful stuff with it as well, it's a bonus. Is that it for this video? I don't I think more. so. Oh, there's more. Okay. I don't think so. I kind of like. How hard is it to just draw something? Oh, I mean, super easy. Oh, the draw. Oh, so we should that. try that. What do you want to draw? Oh, man. Oh, Mike, he looks easy to draw. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get out of here, Joe. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of want to do a smiley face. Okay, there's Steve's masterpiece. That's my Hand portrait drawn. there. My self portrait. So we got to <laughs> swap out the stylus for the torch head again, which is real easy on these. It's got two locking lugs there. Just pop it out, bring the torch head back. Yeah, that's super simple. Lock into place. I'm surprised there's no like recalibration procedure or anything after you do that. That's very nice that they got that set up well enough. You don't have to worry Is about that. Is that safe there? Yeah, okay. And that's just one little like headphone style plug. I just meant to get like that out of there, it. so. <laughs> it's not so bad. Unplugger, get it out of the way. Should we run a test run first without turning the plasma cutter on or just, just see just what I can I'm all down for just full sun. Yeah. Here you go, I turn it. the air then. <laughs> That's perfect. So this was our demo of uh, complex shapes. Uh, <laughs> the, the possibilities are endless. <laughs> Could you possibly make anything nicer? I don't know. We may have peaked too early on this one, boys. That uh, is... that You should hang that up. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. I bet uh, our droid is regretting working with us right now. <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, but the That's circle right. itself is... That's, Unreal, <laughs> yeah. Would have never dreamt of being able to do that just like in a home garage. This or is something like this. This is very symbolic in a way of these types of partnerships. You've got Arc Droid and Side by Side Block <laughs> together <laughs> as one. <laughs> yeah, but it's still awesome, I, in my opinion. Like that's this is like a Plank's long lost cousin from Ed Dead and Eddie. <laughs> There's a few of you out there that watch that show, I'm sure. <laughs> oh my oh. gosh. Yeah, so I'm not sure if this is the end of this video or not, but man. I mean, at some point, you know, we will start using this tool in a serious manner for good things. I don't know if we're quite through this stage of our life yet. It's like, still a little immature, maybe. Maybe we'll just dedicate this sheet of steel to this type of thing, and then we'll get on to the, to the real stuff. But Yeah. Excellent piece of equipment. Arc Droid, killing it. Mm -hmm. Everlast, killing it. And Electro and Electro Co. Electro and Co. really killing it. We're going to find out how much they're killing it next episode. We're yeah. all incredibly excited for Yep. So, you know, I hate to be cliche, but stay tuned for that. Yeah. It's coming soon. 
It's going to be very cool. You're going to want to see it. It's going to be wild. It's going to be too much, probably. But that's just enough. So. I re upped my health insurance, so I'm good to go. <laughs> so. All right. Well, thanks for watching, Mike. See you guys next time. And everybody else.